<laughs> Hold pretty good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> well, you reeled in a little too hard. Yeah, it's okay. I set the drag too, but. <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I took that egg on. That was a That's what they said. How um, bad off is your husband with the COVID? He's not too bad. He's he, it comes and goes. It's weird. Like how long has he had it? He's had it for a few days. Um, do you guys have a pet? We do. Do you have any that heartworm medicine called ivermectin? Yeah, that heartworm. If medicine. your husband takes that, his COVID will go away. That's what I heard. It, it, it is extremely effective. Okay. Um, he'll, he'll be better in a day or two. But what did you say about the Johnson & Johnson again? Like, the Johnson & Johnson, well... You took the shot and then... I took the shot and about a month later I, I was exhibiting uh, symptoms of Lyme and then one morning, uh, early May, I woke up with Bell's palsy. And that's the second time Bell's that's palsy? Yep. Oh, time, God. Second time that's happened to me. Oh. I'm so sorry. You seem okay today? You seem oh, good? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just... It, it comes and I'm goes. St I still got a little lag here and I got a little lag. I can't completely lift this eyebrow, but it's a oh. lot better. This has been six months. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why did you have to get the shot? For your job? Well, my mother is terminally ill at home. I, I do it more to. I, we were told. To... That's beautiful. Yep. It's more to protect my mother than. Oh, God bless you, your heart. Your heart was in the right place, but it's yeah. it's so honestly I'm very skeptical. Yeah, I think believe me, I don't trust I don't I trust don't, I don't trust these things. Neither do I. Uh, beautiful. And they're really uh they're not being fair with they're not being fair with the cops and not being fair with the nurses. Because a lot or of the teachers have gotten it or the because teachers. they were on duty doing their yeah. thing, helping yeah. people. And they're being forced to get it, but, but then there's they're been not, a lot of studies. Then they're not treating it, treating their illness if no, they get sick. If you had right. COVID, you develop an immunity to it, and you don't need the shot. Yeah. The immunity and antibodies you develop after you heal from COVID are more effective than the shot. They've sure. proven it. They've proven it in yeah. the UK. They've proven it in other countries. Sure. Our, our government. They're forcing. They're forcing something that's well. Forcing anything not safe on people. Forcing anything makes me skeptical. Well, you know. Thank you, but right now I'm quarantining. Keep David in your prayers. He's got the COVID, but he's recovering well. So, uh, yeah, just thank God and praise God for this glorious day. Um, I want to talk to you about the promises of God particularly one promise that God is faithful and he will never leave you. I'm in a, uh, for the adults, we're in a, um, I'm in a grown up Bible study and we are studying different um, saints because it's uh, almost uh, Halloween. And the day after Halloween is All Saints Day. So I'm studying right now, the one I'm studying in the group, we're all studying different saints and sharing about it. I'm studying Julian of Norwich. And what's interesting is it says, Julian of Norwich, wisdom in the time of pandemic and beyond. So way, way, way back a long, long time ago, there was actually another pandemic. Um, in the Bible, we call them plagues. Pandemic is when large groups of people get infected by some kind of sickness, right? Even. Even Job had a sickness. Uh, I don't know if that was a pandemic, but um, he had a sickness, right? And God allowed it. Why does God allow these things? My goodness. 
Well, you know what? This world is not perfect yet. We are his perfect creation, but there's trouble in the world. We can see that. We're not blind to that. But as God's kids, as God's sons and daughters, we can create beauty. We can create yes. light. Uh, and to her, uh, this is her words, Julian names five supreme delights of divinity this way. This is the way she describes it. God rejoices that he's the father. God rejoices that he's our mother. He's a motherly figure. He's a fatherly figure, right? God rejoices that he, he is our beloved and we are his true lover. Christ rejoices that he is our brother. Jesus rejoices that he is our savior. These five supreme joys in, divi in divinity, uh, in the divinity cannot cease from being joyful. Uh, Christ wants us to rejoice in them too and praise him and thank him and love him endlessly for the blessings. For Julian says, we are born into a birthright of never ending joy. She writes, we will not take possession of our birthright of never ending joy until we find ourselves fully grafted with God in all his actions and judgments loving and nonviolent towards ourselves and towards all our fellow seekers and able to love everything God loves. And she goes on to say, God loves creation. God loves um, all people. So we have to learn to love others, even if they don't think the way we think or um, behave the way we behave. Um, we are free from sin. And Paul says, so therefore, we don't even want to sin, right? If you do make a mistake, you repent and you apologize. It's our natural tendency, right? Because God changed our, our, our sin nature into righteousness nature. So God being faithful right now in these times is so important for you to understand that he will never leave you or forsake you. And in the Bible, it tells us, we are told that um, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing. If someone says, oh, you're separated because of your sin, you can tell them that, no, you know that you are grafted into his covenant of grace, right? Because you read the Bible. And religion tells us there's a separation. You know, he's way over there and we're, you know, different religions say he's way over there and we're over here and there's, we have to behave, we have to do everything perfect in order for him to love us but we as christians can celebrate the joy of knowing our father is not like that our father loves us unconditionally and he will never leave us so when god wants to do something he will always help us to do it he will never leave us to struggle all on our own remember when miss carrie shared that about um gideon's army was it gideon's no, it wasn't Gideon's. It was uh, da, 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 Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat's army. He led them to the battle, but did they have to fight? No, the enemies fought each other, right? What a beautiful thing to know that he's prepared you for this day. He's prepared you for, if you have a soccer game tomorrow and you're nervous about it, um, you got God on your side. And whether you win or lose doesn't matter. The point is he's giving you strength to participate in that game or in that tournament, if you're, if you're into tournaments or sports. Um, I don't know, if you, if you have a paper to do for school and you're a little nervous about it, um, you think you, don't, you won't um, do as well as you as you'd like, well, call upon the name of Jesus, ask him, ask Holy Spirit for direction, because he is faithful and he will never leave you. You're never on your own. Isn't that cool? So we become, like God wants us to become part of his kingdom and God wants us to work in his kingdom. We become part of God's kingdom the moment we ask him to forgive us and make us new. He takes us into his family and then helps us to become more and more like him. Right? So all you have to do is ask and you will receive. Now, you still, he still loves you just the same when you don't ask, but when you ask, you get to participate in that union, in that bliss, in that joy. First Thessalonians 5, 24 tells us that God will make this happen for he who calls you is faithful. And then it says, God will help us to do the tasks he has planned for us. He wants us to pray for others, help others and tell others all about him. So let's pray right now together with me, would you? Just fold your hands, look down, 
uh, or look up, whatever you want. I like to close my eyes and imagine his loving arms around us, around me. Um, <laughs> there's some squirrels. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are helping me to want to do the things that please you. You are the faithful God who will make this happen. Amen. And thank you for listening today and hearing God's word. God bless. Doo, doo, doo. Help, help, help. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. I want to be the one to save. <laughs> the spider's coming to get me. Help, help, help. Hey, can I help? It's our, you? Hallow I <laughs> our Halloween decorations. Zero dollars. <laughs> we gotta get your stuffed animals. What's this? Yeah, that's from the bamboo. No. Oh, oh, when we were fishing. Da, da, da. We need to rescue the bird from the, there's the bird from the vicious spider. He's about to get her. Um, um, um.